let's just go straight to what they said. So the Muslim rights concern strongly denounces Shaku Shaku dance video by Folari, which is false. It is thoughtless, insensitive, and highly provocative. Is it's a hate video. It is Islamophobia nulli secundus. So they are really angry. guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time thank you so much for clicking i hope you enjoyed this video and then subscribe when you're done watching if this is not your first time welcome back and thank you so much for coming so from the title we're reacting to Faust's video to be honest guys i'm sure you guys will say this girl is so still like how come you're just reacting to this thing now trust me i've seen this video like 10 minutes or like let's say 30 minutes after it came out because i said it on the Faust's instagram i actually reposted it on my page a couple days ago i was like okay let's now react to this video and i tried trying to just see other people's reactions to it and i I watched like two or three of them and they were just they understood the message obviously but I didn't think they really got every single scene and what he was trying to depict to be honest I don't know if I would get every single one and I really really love you guys to like comment if there was anything you noticed that I didn't notice on the video but there was this lady um the white Niger girl the white Niger chick or something like that she did a very very good job in her reaction and she, she understood a lot of things lots of the message he was trying to pass through so another reason why I said I should do this because this is a socially conscious video guys and then there's so many stupid things we jump on you know when we when it comes to social media in this world we live in right now so many bad things have actually come to light because of social media so many things have actually been corrected avoided you know because of social media for instance the cheaper girls that we're going to talk about in this video there was one time we saw michelle obama holding the um, hashtag you know if not for social media nobody would have even known some girls were kidnapped in our beautiful country nigeria because it's real like it's what we actually go through it's just that we're so used to it that we just look at it as normal um, another reason i decided to react to this was because there was a statement released today from Morik. these are the muslim rights concern we're very angry at files i think they thought he didn't depict and go into that um issue once we're done so i'm going to play the video now react to like most of the things that i thought i understood and then we'll go back to the um Marik statements and what they expect files to do so let's get straight into this Okay, so basically him holding the radio, I think that depicts the fact that um, that is the the easiest means of getting news in Nigeria. Because to be honest, guys, like we're so many of us that have the internet and or but the poverty in Nigeria is like 61 percent as at like 2014 the um, national statistics people blah 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 what they release is that like 61 percent of nigeria is actually living below poverty level so all this all of us that you see abroad or even in lagos like what we just form like 30 to 20 percent okay let's say like the rich people are like one percent or two percent or something middle class people then you know look at them the poor the poor people are actually the highest two people like fighting in the background there was some part of his bridge where he was he was saying everybody not criminal everybody not criminal so i think like it just being in lagos because uh, i've lived in lagos no, being in lagos like it's just as if everyone just wants to cheat you like from your cardaman you enter from the conductor that doesn't give you your chain you know, on the road where people are driving just as if everybody's just like fighting like it's made out weak and then there's two people fighting so i guess like there's just always fight and then there's an Okada passing. Okada is like motorcycle so yeah that in most busy Nigerian cities you see like a motorbike and then obviously from the radio you also heard them call, complain about our medical care and what do you think I think something about political instability and um, corruption like a med like <laughs> medical care in Nige is so expensive and then I don't even know how available it is really because when I was there it was like uni and I didn't really really need so much medical I don't know but I know over here like you can easily go to your GP you know just walk in NHS almost. so yeah medical um, um, thing even most of our doctors now you see all of them doing all those conversion exams to come to London to come go, out, go to America to go and study. just imagine doctors are supposed to be you know in the Niger with you because really they don't even earn well so you can't even really blame them or anything because they don't earn like you finish reading medicine for like six years plus all the strikes and then you come out and earn like 75k if you even get 150k job 150k in Naira is like um it's really really crazy there was the guy who was playing the banjo the Fulani guy so um well Fulani people I think that's how they chill just play the banjo so you see if we're just playing the banjo you know just having fun and then 
he just goes up and say killing someone so i think that is trying to depict the um, fulani headsman he actually mentioned that in one of the lyrics those people that came to okay yes because the guy he was trying to kill was actually kneeling down with something on his head. they didn't want to show us his face so i guess is the do you know um the way there was like a massive attack of like they killed 18 people somewhere around benue so i think it was that fulani headsman massacre like fulani men just came to a catholic church and killed people so the guy was kneeling down so obviously that's like just trying to switch church and you guys i'm going to put links to all the stories i'm saying like they're actually real the fulani are from playing like you just get, get, get got up kill someone so that's just true that they just kill for no reason or hatred or whatever but you get like it's just so easy like from playing something you're just killing someone let's continue Obviously, child, child is going to be no This is Nigeria. Look how I'm living up. Look how I'm living up. Everybody be criminal. That's kicking up. If that you're looking past, it's always the leaders. Look how we live in up. Look what we eat in up. Everybody be criminal. Okay, so um, the guy that was taking the pictures, guys, I don't know who that is, but I'm thinking it's maybe social media era or I don't know, look how I'm living now. Maybe people should capture you. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know the picture. was. So if you guys can explain that picture one. And then so see the girls that have walked out now. These are the girls that were kidnapped. I'm sure everybody in the world actually knows about the girls that were kidnapped in, in Nigeria. So there's no point to explain. But I'm going to put a link to the post. So they were called the Chibo girls. They were actually kidnapped from school for years and everyone kept up quite about it until we all came on social media. Like so many people leading, like bringing back our girls out the hashtag if i go on social media and just write bring back our girls if you're not nigerian so you know more about it so they basically kidnapped girls who even grew up in the bush and then at some point they released them they didn't even release all of them and so so he brought them out here now dancing so the hijab is because it was in the north and in the north there's so many muslims and then the terrorist group the boko haram that kidnapped them i think okay i wouldn't say i don't know if they were muslim but there's just so many muslims in the north and everything so i think that's just what he was trying to depict as well that's why he used the hijab just trying to remind us that I don't know why he linked it too much to the Islamic thing, yeah. But yeah, basically in the north there's a lot of Muslims there, so that's probably why he used the hijab. I watched an interview with Faust and he explained this um, dancing part. I think he said the fact that the girls were dancing, it's not like they kidnap girls and then he's not making them dance or anything, but this dance is like this dance they were doing in particular is called shaku shaku if you go on youtube and check shaku shaku you see that it's like one of the popular dances so they're doing it so th he's basically trying to say that we're getting distracted by stupid things you know these girls were still here it's not like they were happy that they kidnapped them this is nigeria just because i'm on tv now best you know get work is checking to see if my watch is original okay so that statement was a fight that i think it was hush poppy and um Fino and Ice Cream. Sorry, Fino and Ice Cream are artists. So they said just because I'm on TV, they, they're asking whether my watch is original. Someone that doesn't, they don't know what he's doing. So apparently people think he does. I don't know. They don't know what he does. That's Hush Puppy. And then he does. One time they had a Twitter fight or whatever fight that he was saying. Fino and Ice Cream, who are artists in Nigeria, were wearing a fake Patek Philippe. That how would they feel if they go and pirate their own music or something? So the thing just entered. So that was just that line he brought in. This is Nigeria. Where am I that Philomena? Money vanish for your office. That is six million. You tossing an animal. Okay, so Madame Philomena and then the 36 million one is the, the this with jam. Jam is like an exam, it's like A levels. It's something you enter, you write to enter uni in Nigeria. So there was some hundred thousand dollars that was missing, like 36 million naira were missing. And I don't know how who said it was a snake that they kept in the vault and a snake came to swallow it. Imagine the kind of excuse they give in our country. And I don't know that they now said they arrested some people, click this one down, down. The Philomena he mentioned, I think she now came back and said she wasn't the one that said that she doesn't know why they're putting it on her, but everything just looks so murky. Like as of today, I don't even know if they found that money, I don't know if they done anything to those people. This is Nigeria. Never any recession of when looters are killers and stealers are still contesting the election this part has a lot of lyrics so looters and stealers and killers are still in contesting the election that's just trying to say that the kind of people that are in government and the lawmakers are all horrible and then you saw that guy drinking that little thing that's like um cough syrup or codeine there's a song we have that is called codeine diet so like a lot of young people actually drink these things take like this there's this blue pill as well you know it's really 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 bad obviously but yeah and this was the this was the highest of <laughs> the highest this is just so witty like you don't even need to know anything that's happening in like to know any backstory of it. the police are the people that's supposed to protect us and they close early why because of security if your force is scared of of <laughs> the fact you guys please and as they're still drinking the cream, yeah. See what he's even holding. Yeah, I think that's the blue thing. That's the blue pill thing he's holding. Yeah, that one. 
yeah. yeah so this um so you see that guy holding the check that's i guess people that way you win people that people you know obviously there's only one person that wins in your full year now so i guess people will just use that hope and then that's the pastor is that a pastor is that a pastor is that a pastor oh sorry that's that's ballot box so that's like um election i don't know how come there's a girl there maybe just how i don't know really why there's a girl there Oh, this is Nigeria. Brother okay, sorry, but before ballot box thing, you heard the pastor just say your miracle is coming, miracle is coming. There are a lot of pastors who do that, like they preach miracle and prosperity and like you know just things are very funny. You see like some videos, they will say you know go and sweep your problems. Some people carry their brooms sweeping their problems. You know, remove your pants and pray to God that a man will come. You know, there's lots of crazy things that happen. It's all over Africa. It's not just Nigeria. We get so carried away religion basically. So that's what we we're just trying to say here. Yeah, so obviously he said electricity. So he had to listen to the lyrics to get some of the things and then that used his lazy party was our president that actually said it that we were lazy. This is Nigeria. There's plenty of Alasha. Full of the heads, man, still a slaughter. Got it people they massacre. That's, that's what I this mentioned. This is Nigeria. What's in my area? Full of my heads, man. This is democracy. Political hysteria. I'm sorry, I forgot to even mention that time when the guy killed him. I didn't even. I think. I think I, I just got carried away with dancing. You saw the way Files just walked over the dead body. So you were just trying to say that we don't even have value for life in Nigeria. Again, that like, you know someone just die and everybody really just moves on, like on like other um, developed countries where they really care about their citizens. Yeah, we are we don't see everywhere now. Well, we act like it's so cool. Yahoo Yahoo is like internet fraud, so obviously everybody in the world already knows. Like, if you get a call from like a Nigerian person talking about my prince, that's Yahoo Yahoo boys. So we call them Yahoo Yahoo. They're boys who do internet scam. Okay, and then they always have the girls. That's why you saw the girls. Like, obviously, where there's people popping bottles and everything, there's always three girls all around them. And he, this um, statement he made about uh, being castigated because I'm trying to be noble. There's this guy called Nobu who mentioned, I think they had arrested some people, and then he just made like a, a general statement saying a lot of these Yahoo Yahoo boys open um, various kind of business. So he said, he listed some kind of businesses and said, you know, they hide their Yahoo Yahoo business under those businesses. And then this um, guy, this comedian guy, just came from nowhere and just put like a video, and then he was just like really insulting the guy that you're stupid and why would you say that you get like so he's not like how you're castigating someone for you know actually calling out the truth so that's why he said trying to be noble because noble is the guy who had made the open to you know just saying condemning the whole yo yo thing this is nigeria look at my nation so you just mentioned SAS stopping for road. Um, so that's basically just talking about police brutality, how the police just you know stop you on the road. There are these people they call SAS the special anti robbery squad. So a lot of people have been complaining that they had just been you know harassing people up and down on the road. I'm going to put a link to that as well. So those are the people he mentioned when he said SAS stop me for road is S A R S. Sir, I'm, sir, look, I'm sorry. I'm so this is you explaining to them what the police mean. Basically, in Nigeria now, Lagos, okay. now, we have to always yeah, have your ID when you're going out. No, sir, I have my ID. Then you see, while he, they had put some put in your down, that guy in the, um, they called that Agbada, that white Agbada, white outfit, sorry. Um, he came and just gave that guy money to release this guy. So that's like bribery. This is Nigeria. Look, I'm living up you see the policeman now beating you, that one that nobody could come and bail or to come and bribe out. This is great thing, transmission of uh, transmission. Transmission. Okay, so that is an, an I think it was the IG that was giving a talk somewhere and then he's I don't know who wrote the script either he the person wrote rubbish on the script or he couldn't read the handwriting properly so he just kept saying transmission 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 so I don't know and then someone defended him one of his um, subordinates defended him saying he had two degrees and then everybody was like are you kidding so yeah that's just like more of humor Okay, so this one is basically complaining about the fact that churches just, you know, siphon money and then they mentioned that you go and create a university where their members cannot attend and that is, um, that should be Convenant University because it's owned by a pastor, a very big bishop, I think he's actually called a bishop 
and um yeah it's really expensive it's one of the best private schools in nigeria to be honest and yeah so i think a lot of people have a problem with the fact that um, a lot of the congregation cannot actually afford it but then again i don't know i don't know yeah that's it yeah. Yeah, this is Nigeria. So that's it guys. Um, I don't know if as I said, I'm gonna put links to this so you understand the situation clearly. Decided to do this re um, reaction just in case they now <laughs> end up deleting it because according to this um Murikli, Muslim rights concerns strongly denounces Shaku Shaku dance video by Folari, which is files. It is thoughtless, insensitive, and highly provocative. Is it's a hate video? It is Islamophobia nulli secundus. So they are really angry. This video has the potential of causing religious crisis of un unprecedented dimension. We therefore demand its withdrawal and an apology to Nigerian Muslims within seven days or the authors and their agents will face legal action if they fail to comply. This video manifests ethnic bias against Fulanese. He just he not, Muslims reject false explanation that the girls in hijab for the Shaku Shaku dance was, was because nothing the video is, you know, he was really, really angry about that. Only the scenes portraying the police brutality the money swallowing snake in the video are near the truth. Shaku Shaku video is nothing but a hate induced production. It is the most patriotic handiwork of the Nigerian news in 2018. We call the attention of security. So they are really angry. And they are telling him to take it down in seven days. So yeah guys, I've done the um, reaction to this. Hopefully they don't take this our video down after doing it. Um, as I said, all the links are going to be in the description box just read all the stories that he was trying to depict thank you so much guys for watching and um we the youth hope to bring change to nigeria because obviously we know better so thanks so much for watching subscribe if you haven't and then see you on my next episode Bye bye